Yo, what is up, squad? Happy New Year. It's your boy, Pino E, and we're back to keep this thing rolling into 2018. For today's video, we got some dope shit to look at, but Jordan Brand also got me singing Don't Like and pondering what in the fuck they're thinking. Anyway, without any further ado, I want you all to smack that like button for good luck in 2018. Subscribe if you're new, and now let's go. Let's kick today off with Reebok and a look at the all new Reebok DMX. What we have up on screen is an image shared by Swiss Beats who, if you don't know, has a Reebok deal. And it's a look at the disruptive kind Reebok DMX run. I'll get this out the way first, this pair is dope. The silhouette is a modernized version of the DMX that comes in an orange, copper and white colorway sitting on a translucent outsole. Very dope, but no word on when these will drop so stay tuned for more. If you're a fan of ASICs, things have been real quiet, but up next we have a look at the ASICs Gel Light 5, coming in a green suede and synthetic upper, matched with a tan leather heel and a contrasting white mid. Like most pairs from ASICs, the colorway's on point for the season, and if you want them, they're available now at select ASICs retailers for $170. We're gonna make a quick stop over at Adidas and take a look at the Adidas EQT Support ADV Mid. I like what they've done here, taking the EQT Support ADV and remaking it into a higher mid-cut silhouette. And while we did see the sub-green colorway a while back, today we get a look at the pair coming in a white and gray iteration, featuring a woven upper and three-stripe lacing system. There's no exact date for this pair just yet, but you could expect these to drop sometime this coming April. Over to Nike, and we're going to start with the Nike Air Zoom Generation Wheat, and a piece of trivia. You all know this silhouette was LeBron's first signature model, but do you know why Nike released this colorway? If you think you know, then hit pause, leave it in the comments below, but if you don't, then here's why. LeBron once told Nike that he could play in anything, even a Timberland boot, and using that piece of info as inspiration, this shoe was made. The pair will release sometime during All-Star Week, so stay tuned for the exact release info, but these will be a quick strike, so expect them to sell out quickly. Next up, we got the Nike Air Fomposite 1 Big Bang. We've already spoke about this pair and looked at the images, so I'm not going to get too in-depth with it. But if you live out in Boston, you can pick these up at the Foot Locker Sneak Easy Pop-Up Shop at 530 Tremont Street on January 4th for $230. For everyone else, chill out. These will release again sometime in the near future. But before we move on, these two are going to be a quick strike. So I promise you, if you sleep, you're not going to be getting your pair. Remember when I told you all that the Vapormax bubble will be placed on everything in 2018 and then I told you all that again and then again and each time I told you I showed you some shitty model with the Vapormax bubble added to it. Yeah well here's another one the Nike Vapormax Ineva and this trash dropped sometime in 2018. And last up for Nike, we have a look at the Nike LeBron 15 Low. Okay, let me get this out the way. I like the shoe, it's cool. But when I first saw it, I definitely got vibes from this Yeezy 600 sample. Sure, they're different, but to me, they're very similar. Anyway, the shoe looks similar to the 15 High with the same sock-like ankle collar and battle knit upper. But new to the Low is the Nike Max Air 180 found on the heel. Anyway, that's it for these. Expect them to start dropping in the next couple months. Over to Jordan Brand now, but I think I just called that Yeezy sample the 600, but it's actually the 650. But anyway, moving on. First up, we have a look at a couple of Photoshop renditions of two upcoming Air Jordan 4s. Now keep in mind, these are Photoshops put together by Jays Are Dead, so the final product might look different, which we won't know until we get our first leak. But until that happens, here's what we got. The first one's the Air Jordan 4 Energy in black, university red, and court purple. The pair's colorway mimics the Raptors color scheme, and this pair should drop sometime in April. Now keep in mind energy will mean that the pair is limited. Now a lot of you I know have been asking what energy is and I'm not sure how to define it exactly but they are a design group within Jordan brand. I guess the best way I could describe them is that they're kind of like the Nike lab for Jordan. The other pair that we have coming also scheduled for April and these dates are placeholders so they will move around are the Air Jordan 4 coming in a university blue, varsity red and black colorway. Will they look like these? Who the hell knows but these are wild. Anyway they drop in April and retail set at $190. Alright, next up, I told you all a while back to expect the Air Jordan 6 to drop in Flyknit along with the Flyknit 3, and while we wait to see what kind of trash they put out for the 3, we get this awful shit for the 6. What in the fucking fuckity fuck were they thinking? Let's start by pointing out the obvious. Aside from the midsole, this shoe doesn't even look like a 6. It looks like some bullshit generic brand garbage. As a concept, a Flyknit Jordan 6 sounds okay, but when they saw this monster of a shoe, who in the hell sat there and said, yep, yeah, 
These are a go. They're fire and the streets are going to love it. And what is with that loose granny fly knit? This is something I would expect Under Armour to put out for Steph Curry. But even the Curry 4 is nicer than these. Okay. I'm just playing. These are actually kind of dope. Get the fuck out of here if you believe me, even for a second that these are dope. Fuck these. They release sometime in spring, and I hate them. Anyway, I'm glad those are trash, because 2018 is going to be expensive, and this shoe right here, let me take a second and applaud Jordan Brand. Typically, when an OG releases, something is wrong. The hang tag, the insole, the outsole, something. But it looks like they got it right with the 2018 Black Cement 3. Nike Air hits the heel, the hang tag, the insole, and Nike on the outsole, Everything is done just right. Hell, they even dropped the price. If this was a 2017 pair, these would retail for $220. But for 2018, we get this pair for $200 with grade school coming in at $160. Anyway, the pair drops on February 17th. And there's one last thing I want to address. The question, is it a GR or is it limited? I hate that question, but that's not why I'm bringing it up. It's hard to answer that question for next year because technically the pair is a GR. But like I've been saying for months now, things are changing this year. A GR in 2018 is not the same as a GR in 2017. Production numbers are getting cut way back. I don't remember the exact numbers, but the True Blue 3 had around 650,000 pairs made. That's a 2017 GR. This pair has somewhere between 250 to 300,000 pairs being made, and that's a 2018 GR. So are they a general release? Yes, but will these be easy to get? Not at all. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.